What's good with y'all boys, your boys? JJ Reaction, man. Hey, I'm back again. The reaction, man. Hey, told y'all, bro. We come with these we come with these videos back to back. The fear of Michael Drake explained, bro. Gotta keep racking these up for y'all, bro. Like I said, bro. Like I said. They all on my phone, bro. I got a long ass list full of videos, bro, that I have to react to, bro. <laughs> bro, I've been bullshitting, y'all. I'm so sorry, bro. But listen, bro. Like I said, I've been busy, bro. We finna knock this one out with y'all, man. Hey, sit back and chill. Hey, it's only six, six minutes, 21 seconds, bro. Let's get it. Let's get now, it. LeBron is universally respected and revered. MJ was feared. You know the difference. The statute of limitations up. I was terrified out there. Were you really? Yeah. You just got MJ? Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Hey. These niggas now, if Shaq say he fucking scared of MJ, bro, if you, listen, the last video I just reacted to, I'm going to post that, I'm going to post that, bro, the last video I just reacted to, we was talking about how scared I, I'll be if I went against MJ. If you got Shaq saying, I'm going to be fucking scared, bro, and I was scared playing against him, what makes you, like... This is crazy, bro. For how long? Right when you took the floor? Oh, or? the whole game. Shaq. The one thing that I think that he was unlike Shaq any other player I've ever played against pounds, is that it, there was a real fear playing against mm. him. Like, like people, I've never seen like the league be kind of fearful of a player. Kobe, not saying that you had to switch it up, but I didn't have that fear. Yeah. You know, Mike would 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 have you know you better bring your game. Oh, I, I, I mean we was just all scared of George. Like so Jesus, I mean, bro. That, ain't, that <laughs> you know when you when you show me against him, yeah, I get a little hot. His regular season average against the Pistons was thirty seven point five. Good grief! And then some nights he would get hot. Q. People were afraid of him. We were his teammates, and we were afraid of him. And there was just fear. That's what I want to do to you. I just threw it to you. I'm tackling an interesting topic that has more to do with the psychological side of basketball and less about the stats and the X's and O's. The quote, fear of Michael Jordan. You hear players from his era talk about it, you hear his fans brag about it, and you hear the NBA media preach about it. But what exactly is behind it? Why do so many people claim that they feared Michael Jordan as if he was going to cause them some sort of physical harm? After all, all he truly was was just a basketball player. Well, I think the ex. Fuck that, bro. MJ was not no damn basketball player, bro. You see the way this nigga be treating people, bro? Hell. Explanation no. involves a lot of surrounding context. Everybody's But at the this end nigga, of the bro. day, the explanation isn't all that hard to understand once you understand that context. I've seen many younger fans on social media laugh at the idea that Jordan was feared. After all, several players stood up to him. For one, Reggie Miller fought him, Robert Parrish threatened him, and you could even argue that the Pistons bullied him. Michael Jordan was not the most scary player in the sense that he would physically hurt you. If that was the case, then players like Ron Artest or Rick Mahorn would have all the stories about players fearing them. But you never hear that. In terms of his opponents, Michael was feared because of how he played when he was angry. There's a term in basketball that a mad player is a bad player, and that's, this is usually a, a true statement. Because when a player is mad, he's more prone to play recklessly and in a forceful manner. That will often result in playing with an emotional approach rather than a practical one. An angry player is more likely to ignore his training and force his will on the court rather than responding to the opposition as is presented to him. This mad approach will usually result in more turnovers, more personal fouls, more technical fouls, hey, KG and more was that nigga. shots. Hey, KG was scary but for as some fuck reason, too. Michael Jordan was the exception to this rule. Not only was Michael not affected negatively during his anger, but it seemed to have the complete opposite effect, as he often appeared completely unstoppable when he was triggered or challenged. The examples of such are basically endless. When Jeff Van Gundy called Jordan a con man, MJ responded by dropping 51 points on his Knicks. With at, bro, at that point, bro, you might as well get ready and pack your bags, bro. 
They never fucking pick up a basketball ever again. And bro. Reggie Miller started trash talking <laughs> MJ. He He's dropped never 40 points again, in the ever. second half while shutting down Miller defensively. That's nasty. When Kevin Garnett got in his ear, MJ lit him up in the fourth quarter. When Magic Johnson told him that he better turn into Air Jordan if they were going to win that USA scrimmage, MJ completely took over. When he was eliminated by the Orlando Magic in 1995, and Nick Anderson said that 45 isn't 23, MJ came back the next season and swept them. When the media said that Clyde Drexler was the better three-point shooter, Michael Jordan broke three-point records against Clyde Drexler. When the league selected Carl Malone as the MVP over him, MJ responded by hitting the game-winning shot to defeat Carl Malone. When Dikembe Mutombo said that Jordan couldn't dunk on him, he dunk proceeded to do just that. When someone said he couldn't dunk on someone bigger than Stockton, he proceeded to do just that. I could go on and on, but you get the Fucking point. Crazy. Michael Jordan almost always got the one up on his opponents. By responding with consistent excellence, he built up an intimidating reputation that he's one that should never be challenged ever. And that's where the fear comes in. If you're someone who thinks you're familiar with Michael Jordan's career, then consider this. When was a time where someone challenged Jordan and MJ did not get the last laugh? I promise that you can't name many, if any. If Jordan didn't get the last laugh in half of the examples that I mentioned, then everything changes. As the saying goes, if you can make God bleed, then people will cease to believe in him. Now I'm not trying to equate Jordan to God like Larry Bird once did. But what I'm doing is making the point that someone's perceived fear and reverence only goes as far as their consistent actions. Back then, angering Jordan meant that you were responsible for your team losing. It meant that you were getting destroyed defensively, and maybe the person backing oh. you up is now seeing an opportunity to take some of your minutes. Angering Jordan meant that you were likely to be embarrassed in front of thousands if not millions of people. That is fear-inducing for an NBA player. The fear was not that MJ would crush you physically, but it's that he would crush you mentally. But don't just take it from me, take it from these NBA legends, who learned this lesson the hard way and decided that they would never trash talk Jordan ever again, due to their fear of the consequences. Did you ever do it again? Never to Michael Jordan. <laughs> Never talk shit to Mike ever again yeah. in life. Well, I, that's com that's coming from KG, bro. That's fucking crazy. Obviously, I didn't say much to MJ. That's the crazy. Of the night. That's <laughs> right. I don't, you make a shot, you say good shot, Mike. You know, you don't talk trash to him no, so no. he can go off for sixty. You know, you, you try to kill him with kindness. Yeah. You don't try to talk trash to him. Bro, that's fuck. That's crazy. Right. Bro, coming from KG and Shaq, why? Bro, hell no, nah, bro. Talking trash to MJ, nigga. He dropping, he dropping 50, 60. <laughs> that's crazy as fuck, bro. But hey, bro. Like I said, that's it for action, man. Let me know what y'all think about the reaction, man. Like, comment, subscribe for your boy JG, bro. If you're new, hit that sub button for your boy JG, man. Hit that like button, man. Hey. Your boy JG out.